Howdy folks, live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Kent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's going around, is that a big top? I see they're lying on the ground, ballyhoo. Ah, oh, ballyhoo. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Fun ideas for your Wisconsin getaway, from dining and destinations to attractions and accommodations, are available at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And by Northwoods Brewing of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, dedicated to craft brewing specialty beers including Flop and Crappie, Lil Bandit Brown Ale, and Poplar Porter. NorthwoodsBrewPub.com. And now here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, singer-songwriter, and part-time pig farmer, Michael Perry. Thank you, Phil. Howdy, Tent Show folks. Oh, it's great to be way up north here under the beautiful blue and pearl gray canvas, this fine, stout tent at the foot of Mount Ashwa Bay, overlooking the ancient waters surrounding the Apostle Islands and just one sail full of breeze away from Shawamigan Bay. The performance you're about to hear is one in a long, long tradition of singing, dancing, and storytelling performed live and in person beneath this beautiful tent. We keep her pitch from June until the autumn moons, and we'd be most grateful if you choose to join us. You'll find a complete schedule at bigtop.org. We hope you join us, and if you do, when the first note rises from the stage, we think you'll understand why patrons and performers alike love to say, Big Top Chautauqua. It's the Carnegie Hall of Tent Shows. Tonight on Tent Show Radio, that bluegrass force known as the Barefoot Movement. And later on, during intermission, I'll tell you a little story about the ways love can bend your beak. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's guests are performing beneath the big top canvas for their very first time, and we couldn't be happier to have them. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I have, after all, reached that age where I've said things before, and I'll say them again on a regular basis. There are certain musical acts that have a unique ability to turn this big top stage into a front porch, and this evening's guest will do just that. They can sing sweetly, they can go all mournful blues, and then... Call up the fire department and put them on standby. They can burn your barn to the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, their recent success means they could go right on out and buy themselves a brand new pair of shoes or even a ragged old pair of boots, but they prefer to perform just as they're named. Ladies and gentlemen of the Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, we have checked the stage for splinters. Please welcome Barefoot Movement. Shadow 
by the Barefoot Movement, Barefoot by name and by reputation. We've been here all week. Uh, it was our first time in Bayfield. It was a beautiful surprise. Uh, we had no idea what to expect, so we've been here all week uh, teaching the kids at the first ever uh, Bayfield Bluegrass Camp for Kids. We sure have learned a lot. <laughs> we had one student that was far more interested in uh, how she was at least a few inches taller than me or hazy than the music. <laughs> she was proud of that. She had something going for her. <laughs> something that we do not. This is about, we're 20 some years old. This is as tall as we're getting. Here's a song about Kentucky. summer for us. It's been a summer of many firsts. First time in Bayfield, as I mentioned. And uh, we did our first time in places like Wyoming and Maine. But it was also our first time as a band going across the ocean. We went all the way to Burkina Faso, Africa. <laughs> I love that because nobody ever expects me to say that. <laughs> It was a really great time. We got to go with the uh, United States Embassy and, and do a cultural exchange and play for orphanages and schools and such. They had posters printed up all over town to let people know we were coming and they speak French over there. And somehow the uh, translation got a little messed up because it was supposed to say, will they play without shoes? But it, it uh, turned out to read, will they play with their feet? <laughs> There were, there were very many disappointed West Africans. <laughs> My little darling so far away down by the Carolina line when he comes down up that hill so high I let him know he's mine I walk the streets of this broken down town and no lover do I claim well, I'm never lonely for my mountain man those city lights call my Love is a town made with lonely roads. When the sun goes down, I 
As a mandolin piece, and I stuck my nose in it and said that we should put some words to it. But uh, at the time, I didn't really know what to write about. I was kind of running dry. And so I had also been binge watching this television show you may or may not have heard of. Um, it's on the AMC network. It's called The Walking Dead. <laughs> so we have a few fans, I see. So this song is for you. Uh, <laughs> so the show is about zombies. If you're unaware, 
It's about the apocalypse, lots of walking dead running around. So uh, naturally, it kind of inspired me to write a song about survival and never giving up and never losing hope. And so that's what I said in Africa, at least, and they seem to appreciate that. But if you don't, you can just assume it's about zombies. So here we go. Mississippi, born and raised, and uh, it's been great having him on the road and getting to know him. I've learned that one of his very favorite animals is an African lion, but it was unfortunate because when we actually went to Africa, we didn't see a single lion. <laughs> However, we did see some really awesome crocodiles. They're, uh, they're called sacred crocodiles, and we sat on them. I'm telling the truth, so that's what you're supposed to do. So Alex had to settle for crocodiles, and I, I, think, I think it made him pretty happy, you know. See a lion, sit on a crocodile, you know. So <laughs> he's going to sing your Ralph Stanley song. This is Alex Connerly from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. We're up on the mountain, throw a little cake. See my candy darling, my pretty Eliza Jane. I'm going to Rocky Island, oh, honey, ho. See my candy darling, you know I love her so. Wish I had a big fat horse, corn to feed him, ho. Oh. Real good to stay at home and feed him when I'm gone. 
going to Rocky Island, oh honey, oh, see my candy darling, you know I love her so. Welcome back to Ten Show Radio, folks. From the backstage dressing room with the one lonely little light bulb burning. Earlier this spring, I woke to a morning as fresh as only early spring mornings can be. The sun was bright, but callow in its warmth, as if the shirt sleeves feel could be swept away by a single chill breeze. The first flecks of pale green had appeared on the lilac branches, and over by the granary, the rhubarb nubs were showing. I had just fed and watered the chickens and was crossing the yard toward my office in the room above the garage when I heard a commotion. The garage is built into a hillside and the noise, a general stirring of leaves and snapping of twigs, at first sounded like squirrels tussling. But then two male ring-necked pheasants broke into the open, one hot on the tail of the other. It's not uncommon to hear the rasping squawk of these fellows out beyond the reaches of our yard, and now and then a solo rooster will skirt the yard over where the spruce trees line the pole barn, but this is the first time I'd seen two males in such close proximity. Their iridescent green heads and blood-red masks were startlingly beautiful, as always, but in this case they were moving low to the ground in a dead-on sprint, the rearmost rooster pecking at the tail of the front runner. I had seen no hen, but her presence was implied, and although I don't speak pheasant, the message the pursuing rooster seemed to be conveying via his agitated clucks and snapping beak was that this was not going to be an open relationship. As for the rooster in retreat, his dedication to heading down country in all due haste implied that he had gotten the worst of it back there behind the garage and was now engaged in what the great Patrick McManus once described as a full-scale linear panic. Having burst into the open, faced with nowhere to hide and unable to outrun his jealous pursuer, the lead pheasant took to wing. The second pheasant launched right behind him. Their trajectory was such that they were headed straight for the face of our big red pole barn. 
Maintaining a small lead, the frontmost fleeing pheasant pumped his wings extra hard and cleared the roof line with a foot to spare. Right behind him, the second pheasant flew smack into the corrugated face of the shed. I mean, it wasn't even close. Missed it by at least two feet. He flapped and spiraled to the ground, flopping on the grass, then scrambled to his feet and wobbled in a circle. I laughed out loud. I didn't intend to be cruel. It was just that the whole scene was so unexpected and so goofy, and to see that bird go from defending his love at warp speed to bending his beak against a steel shed the size of a two-story car ferry, well, let's face it, my history is such that the image conjured memories of my own romantic metaphorical equivalents. Eventually, the bird fluffed his feathers, hopped nimbly through the fence, and disappeared into the brambles in a direction suggesting he was feeling much better and circling back to the place from whence he came. Which was when I realized. I may have had a laugh at his expense, but the altitude-impaired pheasant did manage to run his competition out of contention and was now headed back to his sweetheart. And while the skedaddling pheasant cleared the barn and made a clean escape— he was now out there in the back forty weeds, all alone. Love is difficult. Come to think of it, love can make you lose your shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Barefoot Movement. Oh 
Thank the folks who are running sound tonight and putting this all on, but also the whole staff of uh, this week's big production, Bluegrass Camps for Kids. It's a really, really big, not like ordeal to put on, but it takes a lot of work and, and patience, and everybody was really great this week and happy, and we had a really nice time. So thanks to everybody, Jacob, Shauncey, uh, Rob, uh, Liesel, everybody. So thanks so much. We had a great time. See you next year. <laughs>
wow. Thank you for having us back so soon. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> you guys are great. We, we, honestly, just Wisconsin is great. We play this wonderful little, yeah. There's a festival called Larry Fest down in Lafarge that we just came from that was like a, amazing. Okay. All right, so this is our second, I'm going to tell you a secret, it's our second time ever playing this next song on stage. But hopefully you know it and you'll like it. Thank you so much. Somebody count. Don't make me do it. Listen here, baby. Now dig this. You don't care for me. I don't care about that. I got a new fool. I like it like that. I only want to burn in desire. Let me stand next to your fire. Let me stand next to your fire. Let me stand next to your fire. Let me stand. some more music from the Blue Canvas Orchestra.
Thanks so much. Orchestra and singers. Come up and see him sometime. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for a great night. Thank you. From the top of Wisconsin, Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, the summer home of Tent Show Radio. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. 
Fun ideas for your Wisconsin getaway from dining and destinations to attractions and accommodations are available at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau, Bayfield, Wisconsin. Offering sailing and kayaking among 22 pristine islands, gourmet restaurants, art galleries, and historic lodging. Information online at bayfield.org. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior. Proudly hosting Bayfield's visitors for nearly 100 years. Rooftop deck bar and events for all occasions. Online at thebayfieldinn.com. Tune in next time on your radio or online. Station locations, Big Top Summer Show schedule, online ticketing, and touring schedule of the Blue Canvas Orchestra at bigtop.org or by calling 1-888-BIG-10. Or stay in touch with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash bigbluetent. Tent Show Radio is produced by Tom Fabjans, Michael Perry, Jamie Hansen, and yours truly, Philip Anich. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you join us in the tent or join us in the air, whether you beam us or stream us, we're as grateful as a guy who survived his many crashes into the pole barn of love. Remember, the Big Top is open all summer long and into autumn and has been for going on three decades now. We'd love it if you came up and or over for a show. And if you're traveling by World Wide Web, I'd be grateful if you dropped by to visit me, your grateful tent show radio host at sneezingcow.com. Yep, just the way it sounds. I'm going to head on back home now and try not to hit any lovelorn pheasants. Drive careful. If you can't drive careful, watch out for the other guy. We'll see you next time, and remember where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.